My name is Tim. I had the greatest parents ever. Rise and shine. It's take your kid to work day. Really? It was just the three of us, the Templetons. Life was perfect until that one fateful day. Tim, look who's here. Meet your new baby. There's a lot of annotations on this video. It's getting annoying. I'm already getting uh, the Reservoir Dog vibes from this. I wonder what it is. He's like a little man. He carries a briefcase. Does no one else think that's, oh, I don't know, a little freaky? Well, son, we're well, stupid. We carried Lamb Lamb around until you were like... This is not about Lamb Lamb. We don't notice things Trust like you do. You are going to love him with all of your heart. Never. Oh. You I don't blame him. Oh, that was funny. I don't blame him. His brother seems like an asshole, to be honest. Is it supposed to be cute? I guess. This is amazing fast paced animation. Um, that was ridiculous, but anyway. This is supposed to be like if um, you you're an older sibling and you were an only child for a long time, or like a few years at least, and then your parents had another kid and they started giving it all the attention, Yeah. and then it's like, oh man, uh, my little brother is such a shithead because my parents are paying more attention to him than I am, but it's like, if you're the younger sibling, then you can't relate to this at all. Or if you're an only child, you can't relate to this at all. So there's a very, like, small demographic that this is applying to. Why are they showing the same thing over again? That is the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, what the hell was that about? Did you yeah. see that? I don't get it. I don't know what they're. No, Jimbo, puppies are evil. Stacy, read back the notes. That was disturbing. What's it say? Oh, is she Asian or something? Yeah, you couldn't tell. Yeah, I couldn't tell. Are they black? I don't know. I mean, their dark skin and curly hair didn't give it away. Yeah. All I need is a transgender baby, and you have everything. I know how important this mission is to the company. You can talk. Ah, we already saw this. Poop duty, that's extremely funny. I like how it's got Alec Baldwin too. Like, I wouldn't have cared if this had been like two years ago, but since he was on Saturday Night Live and that like stupid uh, anti-Trump propaganda thing they had, it's kind of completely lame. Is this supposed to be entertaining? That's nice. If I don't succeed with this mission, I will live here forever with you. Okay, I will help you. But just to get rid of you. Deal. Here comes the choo choo train. No, no. They're watching. Choo choo. Oh, now the older brother's getting the upper hand. Choo -choo but they didn't last, because, you know. How do we get past the guard? That's how it always goes in, like, these kind of, like, comedy things where there's two characters butting heads and they're trying to one up each other. There's always like the one who's better at it that you're not rooting for, and then for the most part he'll be the one that's always winning, and then there'll be parts where like the other one that you want to win, like he'll get the upper hand, but then it doesn't last, and then the other one's better at keeping up the facade, so then the one that you're that you're rooting for ends up like losing his temper and flipping out in front of everybody, like he's an asshole. You all just aren't seeing it. It's bullshit. <laughs> And then, and then he makes himself look like a complete yeah, yeah. asshole. And then, yeah, like, yeah. once he's out of the picture, the other one will be like, ha, oh, I'm the winner. Well, and then, like, he'll realize, wait, I needed the other person after all. Then they get past their differences dynamics. and work together and become buddies. So, that's how all these movies go. So the same material that's been reused, like, a hundred times over. Was that supposed to be cute? What happened a good manager needs I mean, the whole thing. Oh. I'm not paying attention to it anymore. Best. I don't want to. Sometimes you have to be firm. Put that cookie down. 
cookies are for closers. That was a Sometimes you have quote from an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Stacy, read back the notes. I can't read. What's it say? Sometimes you need your cute face. That's not cute. I'm working on it. No, I mean... The boss baby. I mean, the whole thing was not cute. Yeah, I don't just mean that particular face. Uh, yeah, this is like... Kinds of the animation is cool. like... The first type has researched it's disgusting. It's, 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 make, it's repulsive to me, personally. Yeah, the animation exactly. alone, it just like just seeing it without even watching the, the trailer, just like scrolling down like, my Facebook homepage and seeing the videos, like being on it, it, it just feels like insulting, like... Advertisers and movie makers and whatever just like... Yeah, this is what you're gonna want to watch, right? You think this I'm a eater? Well, ugly, it's a power play. fucking you stupid looking eats, shit. You'll have to wait and buy my book. And then it's like, I don't Here know when this became so popular, but it's like, in these animated movies like this, these CGI movies, it became like the thing that make the main character always really fucking smug looking. That makes you want to punch him in the face, like Elsa from Frozen. And then Moana, and then like, I forget the guy's name, but the, uh, the guy character that helps her out. For some reason, in all the official posters and stuff, they all look really smug. Why did that last so long? When all it was was a long was a uh, a long um, preview, and then it showed the same preview like three times over. Like they showed the same scenes over and over again. Yeah, it was a little bit different every time. Like there was one yeah, where, it, where it had the baby's ass close up, and then it farted. Like like that was funny. That's something that people want to see. Yeah, it's hilarious. Well, I mean, at least there's a Fire Emblem video in the related videos, and Steven Crowder, maybe he's talking about it. Tucker Carlson. Is retarded offensive? Well, I hope not, because I'm going to be using it to describe this movie a lot. About the... Yeah. Over her recent part in this shitty movie. (laughs) (laughs) She voice acted something in it. He confronts her about it. He asked her, what was it like? Well, Tucker, it really sucked and I regret doing it. Wait, 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 wait. Is that what I think it is? Oh, it's Captain Underpants. That's even worse than what I thought it was. I remember when those comics were popular when I was in elementary school. Yeah, I do too. And I remember, I, did, I never understood why anybody liked them because it seemed offensive to me. Like, not offensive in, like, I, I like the... The words, I mean the actual content, like a guy in his underwear and a cape is disgusting. Well, it was it was supposed to be like, well, everybody in school hates the principal, right? Well, let's let's humiliate him and make him into a guy that gets brainwashed and takes off his clothes and is running around in his underwear thinking he's a superhero. Wait, that's what it's about? Yes. I thought it was just some crazy kid, like, stripping naked and then being a superhero or something. No, no, no. It was about these two kids that wrote a comic about a superhero named Captain Underpants, and then they somehow got, like, the principal to, like, go crazy temporarily and, like, strip into his underwear and think that he was him. That's really wacky and exciting and fun, right? Yeah, sure. Mm, Sounds like it. I almost want to watch that trailer now. Maybe it'll be like a nice uh, cleanser after this one. I, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Instead of getting to watch a baby, a naked baby, fart in your face, you get to watch a grown man run around in his underwear. No, let, let's stay away from that, I think. All right. I, my, sense of, my senses have been insulted enough. I didn't even know what to say during that. I mean, there wasn't any, there wasn't much to make. I mean, there's plenty of material to talk about but you can't even make fun of it because it's not funny right i mean it's like you know that this isn't pixar when you see it because the animation just looks like yeah just just bad enough to be like no pixar wouldn't stoop that low even though they're they've been bad for a few years now um so it's like oh it's dreamworks there you go now i wonder what movie they were ripping off from pixar that i haven't seen or heard about yet no, maybe this was their first new original creation. And what a way to start it off, right? Yeah. Something horrible. <laughs> Doesn't that video on the bottom uh, right make you just want to smash what the computer the screen? What the hell is that? 
I'm, I'm just going to click it for a second because I'm just curious what, what the hell that is. Oh yeah, God, that's God, what I thought it would be. It's two, gang war between two. Boss Babies and the Neighbor from, I guess, Hello Neighbor. So, How did they do that? Oh, Minecraft. Yeah, okay. they modded it, so... I don't understand, like, what those two things have in common. Um, Hello Neighbor and Boss Baby. Like, I, I don't get it. Well, Hello Neighbor... Well, it, it had to do... It was a video game about a neighbor that you were trying to break into his house, and... And don't you understand? It's exactly like what we just saw. Oh, yeah, I get it now. Yeah, I don't know how you didn't see it. Are you stupid or something? I guess, I guess so. Yeah. No, what it's supposed to be is like, let's take two popular things at the time and mash them into one. Oh, that'll be yeah, so wacky and people fun. People will click on it and watch it, yeah. Alright. Well, that's... That's about my face while watching the trailer, so I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah.